Hi there, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I get to show off my new doodled actions. Um, these actions are for creating an outline doodle to any shape, text, etc. Um, that you want to use. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to yawn. Um, you do that because you're tired. I am. Um, yeah, and uh, that's how I roll. It seems like every time I start one of these tutorials with you guys, I'm like, I'm so tired. And you're probably like, ugh, Leah, get over it. You're tired. Okay, we all are. Whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm sorry for yawning at you. Anyway, moving on. Um, I have a few layers to show you. Uh, this was a shape initially uh, to heart. Yay. Um, whenever you get started with whatever shape you're using, you're going to make sure that you simplify it in PSC or rasterize it in CS. So um, just rasterize layer. I've already done it because, you know, that's how I roll. And um, then you just choose the doodle action that you want. You can see that there's six um, smalls and larges. Larges is more if you're using or creating an element or border that is a larger area. Um, small is for obviously smaller things. <laughs> so, and then there's different versions of each. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to doodle small. First thing you're going to do is choose your foreground color and then your brush. You're going to do this no matter if you're in PSC or CS. So, um, load your brushes. There are two and, uh, you can see here's one, two. You can also use any of your own brushes. I, if I were you, I would keep my, uh, my pixel size between two pixels and maybe eight. Um, but you really can do whatever you want. Yeah, whatever. Trial and error, right? That's what's most fun. All right, so I'm going to use the four brush and I'm going to do doodled small one. So I'm just going to hit play. And it told me, it's like the reminder, make sure you have your foreground color, the color you want it to be, and the brush picked. And you're like, okay, I, I know already. Jeez. And then you go. So it's running and it's almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Ta -da! All right, so there's our doodled um, layer. This says, like you see, is smaller doodle. This is a four by four canvas size, so I could do larger as well. And I'm going to just show you that quickly. Um, I'm going to use large number three just for the heck of it. Same warning. Warning. Very serious. <laughs> as you can see, the doodle um, outlines are a little more wide and random actually i've had a lot of fun with like um duplicating like the layers like i'd copy this layer and then put that one in it so then it's like you know lots of doodled layers yay um all right so that's the the first use of the action is any shapes i'm gonna close these up all right um the next is text uh, with this, you're going to, you could do a whole alpha, you could do just word art, whatever. Um, I'm going to can rasterize the type. That's your first step. Always simplify slash rasterize. All right. And um, for this, I'm going to do small. Uh, I'm going to pick small too, I think. So I'm just going to hit play. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to make, I'm going to make it a color for fun. Let's see. I have all these happy colors up here. I like that one. That one's cool. All right, here we go. And play. Yes, I know already, Leah. Gosh. <laughs> but uh, it's fun. I just, I really think this is a fun, fun action. So there you are. You have an outlined, a doodled outline um, piece of uh, word art, just like that. Yeah, it's so fast. Um, look at me. I'm like, I'm like a, a used car salesman. It's like, yes, do it. You want to. All right. Now this is an example for all of my pocket um, friends because I love you guys and I love pocket scrapping myself. Um, so what you would do, let's say you had a template open. What I would do is I would take all of my layers and if they have any kind of style on them, like a drop shadow, just turn off your, um, turn off your layers uh, effects duplicate your layers you might actually want to do that after you duplicate your layers and then merge that duplicated stuff together so there we go so that we have this duplicated layer for us and then i'm going to choose doodled small three i'm going to choose black and let's see how this goes i didn't i didn't test this one in advance so if it goes really poorly i'm going to be embarrassed so uh 
let's hope it goes well. <laughs> this is probably going to take a little longer because it is a larger area. Um, but either way, it, it should work. <laughs> there we go. Yay. All right. So if I zoom in here, you can see that you have little doodled lines like that. And what I would do is I would just copy that. I would get rid of this. <laughs> and here's my original layers here and paste it into our um, document. So then now I have a template, a pocket template with little doodled outline, right? That's cool. Um, so yeah, it's really fast and you can use it pretty much on any single one that you want to do. Why not? Uh, if you want the effects to be more random, you could do each shape individually, but I, I'm, I'm all for speed and uh, that, that's faster. So, and that's what I like about pocket scrapping is that it is faster. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty fun. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you the large doodles on a 12 by 12 page. All right. So this is going to be pixels, like that. Um, I'm just going to put a white background because I'm going to have to copy and paste it again. Every time you run the action, it is going to open it up in a new window. I do this just in case for you guys. Um, so it's not overwriting anything on your original file. Uh, so you don't have to worry initially about renaming things. It, it is for ease of use, um, for you guys. So hopefully, hopefully that's uh, a feature that you like. You can always, uh, edit that off, at least if you're using CS. So, um, here we go. We have our, our square shape and let's make sure that it's right in the center. I'm sure there's an easier way. I <laughs> There's so many things I don't know about Photoshop. Sometimes I feel really embarrassed. Like I'm like, I'm sure someone's watching this and is just like, what are you doing? Anyway, again, first thing we do, we rasterize our layer slash simplify. All right, I'm gonna use doodle large one and I'm going to be using the color black and just hit play, continue. This one shouldn't take too, too long. Um, too terribly long, I don't think. But there you go. <laughs> it's so cool. All right. I feel like I'm patting myself on the back. I'll probably think I'm so pretentious. I'm really not. I swear I'm not. But here we are. This is like a, a 12 by 12 doodled border. I think it's pretty fun. Yay. I've actually had a lot of fun using the doodle actions and I've also like I combined things so I might use a doodle action and then I uh, I'm like okay well I want it to look a little rough so then I would use the stamp actions on that so then it'll give it like a, a really like a distressed sort of look um, there's just so much you can do there's so much you can do it's so much fun I just imagine like all the patterns you could make and and whatnot it's uh, as a designer and even just as a scrapper I don't know I think it's a, a fun utility sort of um, sort of action set. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please listen below uh, or contact me through mommyish.net. Um, there's a contact me and you can just click and fill out the form and it sends to me. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.